here at the cosplay panel, which I'm really excited about because I know that we all have some kind of connection with cosplay, whether we cosplay ourselves or costumers or just fans. Um, I'm an author of a fiction thriller, The Holder's Dominion, and I'm a writer for a video game website, um, MMORPG.com, and then of course I dabble in cosplay as a model and a fan, and then I also uh, use cosplay as a way to bring my novel to life. And so we're going to talk about that too. So then we'll just start with. Okay. Uh, my name is Lauren Schiller, and I'm a cataloger at Cushing Memorial Library at Texas A&M University. Uh, yesterday, I spent a large portion of my time dressed up as a Viking because my acapella group was doing a uh, music play performance of a, a Norse mythology song cycle. And um, so we, we do it in um, as authentic as we can make them. Uh, Viking costumes, uh, and I also my I have some anime cred. Um, before I moved to Texas, I was staff at Anime Boston, where I helped run a lot of the cosplay and game show events. Cool. Uh, I'm Aurora Celeste. I'm a costumer. <laughs> I, I've been costuming for about 15 years now. I, I enter masquerades. I won best in show last night. So. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Start, um, by talking about how or really what cosplay means to us. We're gonna go down the line and kind of describe, you know, what when we when we see cosplay what we think of. And one of my favorite descriptions of cosplay was from a really good friend of mine who's a cosplayer and she said, you know, it's becoming a live sculpture of your favorite characters. And it's really cool to be able to see, you know, not only with uh, comic books and, and video games, but movies, you know, we can bring these characters to life. So 60s, that's, that's just, the 1860s and the 1870s, we had a very womanly, motherly shape because we wanted women to identify with being mothers more. And I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this now, <laughs> but I, I think that those kind of things subconsciously trickle down in society. Right. We, you know, we were talking about how um, you know fashion designers can pull from cosplay, and cosplay can pull from all these, the symbiotic circle, right? Where fashion kind of goes around. And even in um, Asia, there was this big article about talking about how in Japanese culture, cosplay influences street fashion, and then it becomes trendy. And, but that's just like, we, we, we want people to have fun. We want people to enjoy themselves because they're at a convention, and they should be having a good time. So instead, you can't cosplay that. You can. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, 